I thought crashing the Avada was bad. We have to figure a way out of this hole with nothing to winch onto. Alaska always has some kind of crazy sign in a lot of their towns. Look at this one. Today we are looking to have an, an epic, epic adventure. Something that Scott and I always wanted to do is ride Burton's Ranch, our beach here, with a side-by-side, uh, -side, and that's what we're going to do today, finally. Uh, we're excited. Got a little nervous take it off. It uh, stalled out a couple times, but oh well. I'm in for a good experience today. Just made it to the beginning of the beach here. Absolutely gorgeous. I mean, the drone footage already is really, really cool. So this is fun so far. Okay, so we just stopped here for about an hour. Really, really cool little spot. Uh, got some wave shots coming up over that thing here. turned out really really cool that's one of those rocks that I always wanted to photograph and I did once with my drone but that's because I flew it like three miles away now that I'm close it's a lot easier to get some real shots with my camera here honest with you this Mavic 3 has gotten me some really awesome footage today I'm really impressed with it the beach doesn't go as far as uh, back as we thought it was and we didn't want to go out there too long before low tide hit us but we are gonna have some fun with this guy now the DJI Avada I think the Mavic 3 can get some cool shots but there's a reason I bought this and I needed something new. I wanted a new drone experience. But the FPV world was kind of out of reach for me. I thought that you had to build your own and whatnot, but the DJI Avada made it super possible, super easy, super fun. Um, well, easy after you put in hours of work. I'm not the best yet, but I'm hoping to get some cool footage here today, right now. Let's uh, move the tripod so uh, when he takes off with the side-by-side, -side, it's not gonna be in the way. All right, here we go.
own thing. So, I, can I think it's coming it. back on its own. Oh man, I crashed at the last second there. with this drone. <laughs> what the hell was that? I got some cool footage though, but Jesus, man. I lost my ND filter too. Let's go find where we crash. I'm unplugging this battery. Well, that was pretty frustrating. I uh, I don't know what happened to the ND filter. I can't find where I uh, crashed. Don't know where the heck that filter is. But that's one thing that I don't understand with this Avada. Like, when I impact, like, it just does some wild stuff on its own. I felt like I had no control, and it's like, it's pretty cool that it survived that and it kept going, but what, what was that about, man? Well, I found the crash site, thanks to the playback option in the goggles, and here it is, ND filter. That's a tiny find on a big beach. <laughs> and just like that, I got the drone back, the ND filter is back, even though I crashed it, you wouldn't think it's crashed. There's a little kind of crack there on the frame, but it works. If you crash in sand, you might be all right. Watch this. <laughs> Just slams on the brakes right here. He's a good driver. Paying attention. <laughs> we we just we just laughed for a, a good few minutes there. That was uh pretty epic. We dug ourselves deep in the mud. Now we just gotta dig a little deeper. Come on! Come on! Come on! Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Wow! Hey, that was uh, pretty uh, torturous. Um, we dug some some dams and whatnot, put some logs down. Eventually, we got the freaking thing out, as you saw. But uh, that was pretty rough. That thing was dug in deep. We really uh, were pretty diminished in our hope. And guess what? As soon as we got it out, another side-by-side -side came out of nowhere. So, yep, that's that. We gotta try to figure out how to get back on the other side of that stream. But hey, we got it out of this water for now. Well, as we get this thing all tied up here uh, and end the video, uh, just want to say thanks for watching. Uh, that was exciting. We learned some things, though. We learned how to make a uh, winch. Uh, what do you? What would you call that? We learned how to make something that your winch can attach to from nothing. Thank God those tree logs were there, though, and we found some really heavy ones, and uh, that really came in handy. So, Scott, how do you feel? Relieved to be back. Yeah. Did you have fun though? Had a blast. Pretty epic spot, isn't it? It's very epic. I think we're both a little still like mind blown that one that happened and two we found a way to get out of it, but we're back here. That'll do it. So I just want to say thanks again for watching. And if you want to see another epic adventure, I uh, want to consider subscribing to my channel. It helps me out a lot. And also, check out this video here when we traveled to Nome. It was super epic. Four days in Nome, camping the whole time. Super awesome. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.